Every now and then we get a new mechanic for a new game franchise and it completely changes everything. You almost can't even see that character without that mechanic. And I think Super Mario Odyssey is the exact same way. That's right, I want to always run around naked. But Mario has always been the same. Every now and then he had a power up, but for the most part, all he does is jump and ground pound on enemies' heads. That's kind of his main attack. That's how he does things. He doesn't punch, he doesn't kick, he doesn't do anything. That's all Mario did for many years until at least Mario 64. But out of nowhere, for Mario 64, they decided to let Mario throw hands. He can now punch and kick and even dive and even pick things up. Mario is more versatile than ever, but being able to punch and kick was huge because now we didn't just have to jump on enemies' heads, we could actually punch them in the eye. This would greatly change the whole dynamics of Mario. He's not just a jump man anymore, he's a punch man. So we kind of naturally assumed that Mario would be able to do this in the future games as well. And actually, no, they had never brought this back. In fact, I don't think there's a single game anymore where Mario can just punch things. Now there are workarounds and I'm about to get into those, but the mechanics did change if you see it for the better or for the worse. In Mario Sunshine, Mario can once again not punch or kick. He can jump and he can ground pound on enemies, but his main way of attacking now is squirting water at enemies. Now this works really well for Mario Sunshine because lots of the enemies and bosses within this world and this game require you to shoot it with water because of the way that they're developed and sometimes they combine the water spray with Mario's already great jump and ground pound in order to have some really cool attacks on bosses. So it works really well in this situation. Scenario. However, Mario can grab and pick things up just like Mario 64, which actually is utilized with a lot of bosses and a lot of missions as well. But the problem with Flood in Mario Sunshine and the fact that it probably will never come back is it's such a weird mechanic that's just kind of tied to this specific type of game. If they were ever to bring back Flood, it would just have to be a Mario Sunshine 2 because it's about cleaning things up. It's about cleaning up messes and killing enemies that are just one big mess. And I don't think there's any Mario game that necessarily needs to bring back Mario's Flood. I think this is a device that is simply for Mario Sunshine and Mario Sunshine only, so it was really a one-off mechanic. Then we move on to Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2, where it incorporates one new mechanic from Mario that changes how he plays once again and is used for pretty much every single puzzle and enemy defeating in this game. So, all Mario has this time is a spin. That's, that's it, it's just a spin. The spin might be very simplistic in nature, but it's every essence of the gameplay. For one, if you're about to fall off a platform, you can spin and give yourself a little bit more air time to get up, or you can spin to start the skate mechanic on ice, or you can spin to knock over enemies and just run them over to kick them away. It's actually very useful, and as simple as it is, it works for Mario Galaxy. This is when we actually got to see Mario using actual combat within the gameplay, because yes, in Mario 64 he could punch and kick, but you never saw Mario punching Bowser, and in Mario Galaxy, you can straight up just punch him in the face with this spin and also punch things into him as well, which is just extremely satisfying. And it's why it's looked at as one of the best boss battles within the Mario franchise. And that's what made Mario Galaxy's boss battles so fun in nature is because the spin was incorporated everywhere, even underwater. If Mario wanted to grab a green shell and launch it underwater, all you had to do was execute the spin and he would shoot it like a torpedo, defeating anything in the water, which was so cool. And once again, all it is is a simple spin mechanic. It it's one mechanic the player has to input, which is shaking the Wiimote. Like, this is insane. Now, Mario Galaxy's spin only came back for Mario Galaxy 2, and we never saw it again within another 3D Mario game because mostly it was tied to the Luma that gave Mario the powers. So, Mario would naturally need this Luma in order to perform this, which means in every single Mario game, Mario would be known to have a Luma with him, which was a little bit eh, because it's not really Mario doing the spin, it's a whole Luma's ability, which would completely change Mario's character altogether. It would be Mario and Luma instead of just Mario getting things done. But now we move to Super Mario Odyssey, and what mechanic could they possibly give Mario now? Can he punch and kick? No. Can he do this spin? No. Does he have a water squirting device? No. This time he has a new friend that actually takes the possession of his hat, and that is Cappy, which gives Mario the ability to throw his hat. I mean, that right there is kind of crazy. Mario can throw his hat 
knock out enemies. He can also bounce off of his hat. He can platform off of it. He can use it to save him from long falls. I mean, this is a crazy mechanic, and it doesn't even stop there. We find out that he's actually a crazy soul snatcher and can put Mario into their husk. This allows Mario to run around in different enemies and characters' bodies and perform actions that he previously could never do. For instance, he can turn into a frog, and now he has super jumps. There's a rock in his path? Well, he can turn into a chain chomp and blast the rock out of the way completely. There's a giant path that he can't cross? Well, he can turn into a giant stretchy tropical wiggler in order to reach the gap. It's kind of crazy. This single ability doesn't limit Mario. It keeps him fresh throughout the entirety of the game because you don't know what Mario's gonna be able to turn into next. The abilities that you have in the beginning of the game are not the same abilities that you're gonna have at the end of the game, and that's what makes it so special and unique. Every world and every kingdom is full of new characters, new enemies, and new objects to capture, which keeps Mario extremely unique throughout the entire course of the game. And it does all this by not necessarily giving Mario a new ability, but it just allows Mario to utilize the abilities of already existing enemies and creatures. So now, Mario doesn't have to have a super advanced moveset. He can run, he can dive, he can jump, and he can ground pound and even roll in this game, but even with all those amazing moves, Mario doesn't have to use any of them in order to defeat enemies, because all he has to do is capture an enemy nearby and use whatever abilities they naturally have. So seriously, Mario Odyssey is probably the only way we'll ever be able to play with some of these enemies and characters throughout Mario's franchise, and that's what made it so special, and that's why people have been clamoring for an Odyssey too. And I know a lot of people still want to see a brand new Mario, I get that, I'm not big on sequels either, I love seeing new ideas brought to the paper, but there's just something with the capture mechanic that feels like it's only like one-tenth of the way complete. I feel like this is a mechanic that should move on to so many future games, and that's why I feel like the whole Odyssey moniker might just go away, but there's still a chance that Cappy could stay. Now, Cappy could be in the same situation as the Luma, where it's just tied to that specific game, and it kind of takes away from who Mario is if Mario just continues to have nothing but Cappy in all the Mario games. But when you think about it, Cappy actually portrays as Mario's hat, like a living, breathing Mario's hat, and Mario is known for his hat. It'd be really cool just to have that as part of the lore now where Mario's hat is a character, like it's an actual character that is Mario's best friend and goes on adventures with him in every single game. And it actually turns into a thing with the future Mario games. Now maybe Mario can't capture things all the time, but I would love for Cappy to be able to just be there and also allow Mario to throw his hat around and also get advice from the character. I feel like it's just a like perfect sidekick for Mario. And let me also mention, it makes boss battles a lot of fun now because it doesn't just require Mario to somehow get to the top of his head and ground pound on it. You know, now Mario can actually utilize a capture ability to take down bosses in new and unique ways. Once again, he could actually go toe to toe with Bowser and punch him in the face because Mario can capture pretty much his own hat and use it as two giant boxing gloves and punch him in the face. This is something that could never be done with Mario's basic moveset in any other game, and that's why this mechanic is so huge. So honestly, I just think Mario Odyssey 2 makes makes so much sense, there's so many things that Mario and Cappy can still do, and if they don't hit some of these things and allow us to capture some of these enemies that just makes sense, it would kind of feel like a missed opportunity and that Nintendo just moved on from a franchise way too quick. But who knows what's happening, and maybe Mario and Cappy are going to continue on a different adventure that's not necessarily Mario Odyssey 2, but I would love for this mechanic to continue, because the new Mario mechanics allow Mario to do more fun and unique interesting things that his regular jump and ground pound just can't do. But thank you so much for tuning in today. If you agree, let me know in the comments down below and make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Mario and Nintendo in general and help us reach 200,000 subscribers. We are all oh, so close. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.